Well, morning guys. Saturday the 9th of June. I'm lifting my garlic now. I need the salad crops sown and what have you. So, garlic's coming out. And this for crystal, I believe. I'll find out in a minute. Can't complain that. Yes, nice garlic. There's a oh yeah. There's a few red cloves to garlic amongst them, but that's where I've just put something in where I've had a misfire, and it's probably germidor. I've already lifted. Mm. Bit average, but it'll work, we'll use. Yeah, get used first that one. I can do that from but... Yep, crystal. Like I say, the red ones, it's just where I replaced with what was left over. And the last row. A blanket. I have no idea what to expect yet. Hmm, not as good as the others. Get up there. Yeah. No, yeah, they're about the same. They're all coming anyway. <coughs> no good at all, that. No good at all. I don't think I'll be growing cast blanket again.
No worth the effort. Not for me. I'll stick to Thermodrone and uh, Christopher. Yeah. Alright guys. Cleaned a bit of my garlic up. I'm happy with that. Casablanca. So, the reason I dug it up, like I said, I need to get my salad stuff out now. The bad garlic, the worst of the garlic I should say, was Christo. I'm not saying don't grow it, I'm just saying be prepared to give it an extra six or seven weeks. It probably will bulk up just as well, just takes longer. So, I've had to grow to know to decide what I'm growing next year. Uh, it's definitely Casablanca and Germidor. I'll get a decent result from them. Plus it's given us time to get something else put in. Which is what it's all about for me. Okay guys, now for the seed sowing. I need to get some seed out. I've already made a start. I've put two rows of beetroot out. Cylindra. Perfect for slicing and for pickling. I'll put a variety in called Chiogia. Can't see his viewfinder again. Never mind. This one I've never tried before. Oh, come on, open up. More than a full one row here. Four finger, back here. <coughs> right, you guys don't need to see me swallow the seed. I'll come back to you when I've done them. Alright, all in, labelled up. Like you say, beetroot chiogia, raw vat. It's turned. Another raw spinach. Now I'm following the advice from you guys. You said bolts quick, I've got another row in. And then it's followed by rocket, wild trees, you And two rows of radish sparkler, which I'm lacking at the moment. <coughs> Sorry guys, it's out of a cold. <coughs> I normally have any amount of radish in, but I've just finished my white icicle off and realised none in. So that's remedied. Okay guys. Hi guys, <coughs> excuse me, as far as I'm going up that side, in fact as much as I'm doing today, all I need to see was a pink herb to find the path, 
Plus, if I didn't do it, nobody else would do it. I run the risk of wet, wet legs every time it rains. This side, the gentleman with the pop this side is, he actually offered a strimmer, but makes more mess. So I've ripped everything up that's there. This side will get done probably next week. Otherwise I'll get nothing done in the old plot. So it's, it's work I could have done without, but necessary. Hi right, guys, I'll carry on. Hey, the French climbing beans are holding up the cans nicely now. And all I did to start them off was one of these. Just twist them anti-clockwise. A few turns, keep them in place. I can leave them now, take these off. Brilliant. But with squash, just starting to throw the running out. I'll soon be climbing up the uh, cans. Get some growth. Right. I need some spuds for dinner. And I hope this cam cord is working. It's got more lives than a bloody cat. Then I watered up, forgot it was there, give it a soaking. Right. Aaron Pilot. It'd be in about 90 days plus, I think. Yeah. I don't want anything massive, I want those new potatoes. No spot, no see. Yeah, more than enough fraud in it. But it's taking the whole lot up. Right. Lifted on cabbage ground. No sign of club root. A little bit moth in the middle, but clean down the good stuff. That's for dinner. Well, as the season progresses. The garden gives up more for your hard work. I've now got broad beans, cabbage greyhound, can't remember what the broad beans were called. Get off your bugger. The, the potatoes are on pilot, they're the size I wanted. And of course, a few strawberries, some aren't quite fully ripe, but if I wait too long the bloody birds will have them all. And a couple of bulbs of garlic. All the, uh, I don't know what I haven't got, my rhubarb. Fancy a few sticks of that again. But this is what we work for. Now, the reason I take my flowers off my potatoes is that they're forming apples. If you've got kids get anywhere near them, they are poisonous. So I take them off, okay? Which is what I'm going to do now. Morning guys, Monday morning, 11th of June. Now, you've all started doing them, the wife's seen it, you set her off, she wants a couple of onion baskets. Right. Now, 
what I'm missing is my water retentive granules. I know I had some, I can't find them. But the basket's going ahead. There's a couple of things you can do to help yourself. Firstly, you've got your liner in. Sort of, sort of liner I prefer, but it nearly fits the basket. Put yourself a, a sump in the bottom. Now I use a sheet of poly, a little sheet of polythene. You can use the saucers you stand your pots in, a five inch, six inch pot uh, saucer. It's just to hold the water for the roots to go down if the surface dries out. Now you can help yourself again, bog standard compost, but I put loads of vermiculite in. It is water retentative. It'll help. Plus the fact these baskets aren't staying down the garden. They're going home where there's easy access to water so we check them regular. So I'm not too bothered about that. Now I'm going to place by here because spur of the moment. Been a bad weekend. Had to do jobs I didn't want to do or shouldn't have had to do. Uh, especially outside the gate, garden gate, the weed in the path. That isn't my responsibility. It's the plot holders either side of the path. But it was to my benefit. They couldn't, I could have done it at a better time. The heavens opened tea time last night. I would have had wet legs this morning. But I managed all right. Now, I'm not really keen on these uh, fibre things, but let's see what happens. Put the compost in. Normally you would stand the your hanging basket or something like a pot. But if I do that, you're not going to see anything. So, I'll stand in the corner here. Right. I don't think I'll have anything through the sides on this one. So what have I got? If I can get them out. These were just cuttings from the ivy I took last year, last back end. Run through the bottom. Oh, but there's only six in. I'll put all six together. I don't want to leave the tray. Well, this tray is knackered. Go for the multicolored. White flags are color. And these will hang well. Oh, I put plenty in. So there's plenty of vermiculite put in this compost. I've also got blood fish and bone, but that's just to get them, give them a good start. 
as the season goes on, you're still going to have to feed them because there's so many plants in such smaller space. And uh, buy or whatever it takes your fancy. But you will be feeding through the season. Now, the wife likes her busy lizards. So, in case of a little bit of a clean up, any dead, decaying leaves, take them off. Any spent flowers, take them off. Just a basic clean up. Keep her happy. I did try growing some of these from seed, but not one of them took. I think it's a story of this spring with everybody. Let's see if I can cram one more in. Now you watch, I'll get this finished, I'll find the bloody water uh, granules. There's a new chain for this, it's at home, I'll put it on later. Make sure you fill in all the gaps. Don't worry about any soil lands on the plants at the moment. When they're watered, it'll all wash down. And my mate in next door feeds chickens. Right, time to water. I'll have to put this on the floor to water it. Stick it in a tub. Well, that's one finish for the wife. Say, so take it home, chain on. Jobs are good. Okay, guys. Right, second, second and final hanging basket for the deer. Blue lobelia hanging. Alison. A couple of marigolds. Mesembryanthemum. You can see them. And geraniums. There again, 
once again pretty clear. Two more to go, but it won't be done today. Okay, guys. See you later.